I, I think the right way for, for all governments to view blockchains right now is as an accelerant for their financial system from two points of view. Point of view number one is, does your financial system fundamentally generate good assets? Does it generate the assets that are the most reliable, attractive, unique in some form asset that is attractive to the global financial system? Which leads to the second thing of how do blockchains simplify capital flows in purchasing that asset? How does your financial system generate the base asset such that it's the best version of its type globally, it's the best asset of its type, and then how do you allow others, whether they're from your economy or from outside your economy, to wrap that asset, repackage that asset, and distribute that asset outside of your economy so that the global marketplace is now buying that asset? And blockchains and Oracle networks do both of those things. They allow you to reinvent your financial system or leapfrog your financial system into the most cutting edge version where you can generate the highest quality assets with 24 seven, 365 markets, highly reliable proof about the asset and automation of compliance, which are all huge advantages for any financial system. And then you can use the DeFi community, you can use your community, you can use the automation of compliance and identity requirements to create global distribution. Because fundamentally what you want is you want the asset generated in your economy, in your financial system, to be purchased globally, generating net capital inflows into your economy. So this is, I think, at this point, how all governments should view this. There's a number of other use cases for blockchains that go to things like voting systems, where you can verify identity, you can execute a vote through a smart contract, and you can immutably retain the results of the vote in a way that anyone can verify in your whole economy and country without you know, having to rely on, on trust assumptions about you. That's another example of the use of the technology. But those uh, problems are often you know, second tier or third tier problems relative to what will blockchains do for my financial system and my economy? And if blockchains generate a net 10%, 20% inflow of capital into your economy, then obviously that's a massive, massive win for any country. And that's how they should be thinking about it.